Hey guys, and Merry Christmas to those who celebrate. To those who don't, we hope you're having a happy holiday season. If you hear a strange kind of buzzing sound in the background, we apologize in advance. That is our heater. We're in our basement. It's super cold. But we just wanted to get a video out today because a lot of things have happened in the K-pop world. And we just wanted to kind of like chop it up with you guys. Basically fill you in on what's going on and share our thoughts as well. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Here we talk about K-pop music video theories. We talk about K-pop news and a whole bunch of other fun stuff. So definitely join the fam. So the first story that we're going to be touching on today is one about BTS. BTS's Jimin posted and quickly deleted a Twitter video showing Taehyung lying with an e-cigarette. So fans of the group shared their opinion on the matter, with some sharing their disapproval, worry, and disappointment. So one person writes, Jewel has as much nicotine as an entire pack of cigarettes. Stop ruining your voice, Taehyun. He was telling us not to use medicine for us to fall asleep because it's not healthy, but he's out here vaping? Pick a side. Another person writes, A lot of people blindly support idols no matter what they do. Jewel can cause brain damage, addiction, cardiovascular effects, and much more. Y'all will say amen to everything Taehyun does till someday he ends up in the hospital and then all of you will cry. Wake up and advise your idols. So someone reads, Kim Taehyun turning 24 years old before the decade ends. Kim Taehyung is a grown ass man. He can do whatever he wants to. Y'all don't claim his life. Stop being sensitive. Kim Taehyung is a grown ass man. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to get into what we think. I think that, like, obviously this stuff is not that healthy. We've, heard, especially in Canada, we've heard so many stories of people ending up in the hospital. There's actually even been people who have unfortunately passed away due to the um, effects of vaping, for example. Um, a lot of young people, too. It seems kind of worse than cigarettes in a way because there's, like, young kids dropping like flies from this stuff. But Taehyun is a kind of, he kind of is a grown-ass man, though. Like, he's an adult. He's 24. He knows exactly what he's doing, I believe. Um, the only problem I have, and it's kind of sad that it's not really his fault, but the problem I have is that the picture was shared on Twitter of him doing something that, you know, a lot of his younger fans might be inspired to do. Taehyun has a huge fan base in BTS. Uh, a lot of young girls love him. A lot of young kids love him. They might look at even the color of the jewel that he's using, the brand and everything, and go like, you know, I, I want to use that same brand. I want to be like Taehyun. He's my bias. You know what I mean? Like, people will want to kind of be inspired to get whatever he's getting, use whatever he's using. That's what idols do. Artists and idols and musicians, they influence people. So unfortunately, I think he might influence the buying patterns of people who may never have even thought to start this habit. It's, it's unfortunate that, like, anything that they do in their own personal lives can have a negative effect on how they're seen. Like, it's such a burden. But um, it's just a shame that that picture was passed around in the first place. Like, it should never have gone up online. He can do whatever he wants in his private life, but, but I, I do think they need to be more careful of, of sharing these type of pictures. And then if I'm going to play the devil's advocate here, he, he is a, a grown man, and there's, there's a lot of these uh, army that are concerned, and, and, and that's, that's good and well. It, it's, uh, it, it's conceivable why. But the, the only thing is, some of us don't live the healthiest lifestyles as well. And some of us drink, or some of us, you know, make unhealthy food choices. Some of us, you know, he, he had mentioned something about taking, um, how ARMY should stop taking pills to, to help go to sleep and stuff like that, because those aren't good for our health, which is hypocritical too. But um, it, some of us don't really have a place to be advising idols on what to do and we're not making the best decisions either so really I, I think that it, it's great that you know we all obviously he wants army to be healthy and army wants him to be healthy um but at the end of the day at over a certain age you can't really tell people what to do with their own bodies uh you just have to you you can advise them you can give them your advice or or, or how you feel but it's up to them at the end of the day to really either implement what you say or not so the next story that we have for you guys is kind of unbelievable. And um, yeah, you'll see why very shortly. So apparently, earlier today, Red Velvet's Wendy suffered um, facial, pelvis, and wrist injuries during a rehearsal for Christmas Day's SBS, Gaio Dejan. 
Now, she was rehearsing for a solo performance when she fell approximately two meters. Um, and yeah, that's when the incident took place. So she's currently in the hospital being treated. A few hours after the incident, SBF finally posted an official statement regarding Wendy's injury and it was 20 minutes after the show started. So the statement reads, On the 25th, during the SBF Gaio Dejan rehearsals, the unfortunate event of Wendy's, of Red Velvet's Wendy getting injured has occurred. We sincerely apologize to fans and our viewers that Red Velvet cannot perform on stage tonight. We hope Red Velvet's Wendy recovers soon and SBF will be especially cautious regarding the safety of performers in the future. So that's basically what they said about that. Now, um, there are rumors that uh, Mamamoo's Solar also fell and twice was scared because they were apparently on this platform, whatever this was, and they weren't feeling safe on it as, as well. This unfortunate accident, um, they apologized to fans for the inconvenience, but it kind of reads, unfortunately, like, you know, sorry that Wendy was klutzy enough to fall and kind of ruin your day, oh and gosh. sorry they're not going to be performing because Wendy fell. And, and it's just like, that's, that sounds so wrong. Yeah. It's so callous of an apology. Like, that was, that was, I'm sorry, for lack of a better word, that was a bullshit apology. Fans have every right to be upset about that because, you know, even more so than, than seeing a performance, her safety really, really matters. Mm -hmm. I, I think that people would rather her be, be, uh, be well and, and, and everything like that and wish, wish her well and everything like that. And they, they did say they wish her, her full recovery, but they, they didn't take any responsibility for their, their infrastructure that's clearly dangerous. Um, so... That was pretty gross of them. Yeah, they never said like we apologize to Red Velvet as well. Yeah, like, you just kind of ruined their promotions. We don't know that they're going to be able to continue without her. They, as you mentioned before, they just got an all kill. Yeah, fans are condemning this careless apology along with hasty safety management and how SBF treated fans that went to cheer Red Velvet. After it was decided that Red Velvet wouldn't be on stage due to its member Wendy's injury. SBF actually had the nerve to ban Red Velvet fans from the event. Like, what the heck? Oh my God. So they said that they cannot provide tickets because the group won't perform for the show. So there's about 400 fans that had to return home, and they basically just left a huge empty section of seats that were supposed to be for Red Velvet fans. They just left it empty. That's basically the article that we found today, and it's just... They're just... Can we give them the word for like the worst handled situation of 2019? Like, what are they doing? I have no clue. I have no clue. I just hope that um, other uh, co entertainment companies see this and maybe they withdraw their artists from going to to this event um, due to their safety. Like you can, you can, like we know that their their promotions being uh, being so affected like this. This is. This is losing the money, and I hate to just look at the bottom line in all this. Like, we really, their their safety and their health matters. But uh, even looking at the the perspective, like from a company's perspective, if you can risk, you know, losing your artists, your money makers, because of the faulty infrastructure of this uh, this this company here, I wouldn't. I personally wouldn't want to work with them again. Um, but that's just me, though. See, maybe this is why SM doesn't bring their artists to these award shows anymore. Like, notice how all of this here, SM artists have been pretty scarce at award shows. Because this is what happens. They bring them one time, and bam, they're falling off of platforms, hurting themselves, and then they're getting no apology from these companies. Ugh, anyway. Let us know um, what you guys think in the comment section below. We're, of course, hoping for a speedy recovery for Wendy. This is just a tragedy that shouldn't happen to anyone. It... it was completely preventable too. Like, they had one job. SBS has one job. They're a multi-million dollar company. They have one job, keep the artists safe, let them perform, and get off stage. It's one night. Why can't you do that? Anyway, so we're just gonna let you guys know that if you are looking for some awesome K-pop blankets, K-pop pillows, some cool mystery boxes, all that fun stuff, there's exclusive merch at kpopftw. Dot com. It's our friends there. They have some amazing sales going on for Boxing Week, so definitely make sure to check that out, and we'll see you in the next one. Let's get the discussion popping in the comments section, and don't forget to subscribe, guys. We'll see you later. Bye!